listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live from the Trap Music Museum, it's time for Big Facts. Big Bank, Baby J, DJ Scream. Today we welcome the first rapper to shout us out on a record. Big Facts, the one and only Money Man. Is yeah. here to yeah. Money. Yeah. What up, what three up? times platinum, by the way. Three I mean, times platinum? Three times. Wow. Okay, yeah. salute wow, on that, salute big. on that, salute yeah. on that, man. What you been on, man? What Money Man been on? Oh, getting money, low. of course. Yeah, Get yeah, money. yeah. Recording, <laughs> getting money, um, working out, lifestyle. You still farming and shit? Yeah, listen, you know what's so crazy? In my front yard, I put it on my story, too. I w- I've been eating a lot of watermelon, and um, some of the seeds, I don't know how they got there, but in the middle where the flower bed is, in my mm. front yard, a mm. bunch of watermelons growing. Mm. So let me ask you this about watermelons, because you know it's a whole big debate about if the watermelons have seeds or if they don't have seeds, they're supposed to be like real or fake or some shit like that. Do you know anything about that? I think you can eat any type of watermelon, whether it got seeds or not. It's healthier than everything else. So I don't think it kind of matter. <laughs> I think people get a little too technical. Like, mm. you know yeah. what I mean? The goal is just to eat healthy. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Man. Most definitely. So how, how, how you feel about uh, like the current state of just like, you know, they're investing and getting money and everything because we know that some people are really, really, really disappointed in NFT. Some people might have jumped on that crypto wave late and they disappointed. Oh, they was too late. They was too late? Yeah, you know. You but I don't late. think people was late on the NFTs. A lot of people just lost their ass. With the NFTs, you got to get with the NFT that benefits you. Like if the, N- the NFT is just not an NFT, certain NFTs come with like perks. Mm. But you got to like what's going on. Like some people is gamers. So they go get an NFT that's associated with a game mm. and that game give them perks. Mm. A lot of people just jump in something and don't know nothing. You get what I'm saying? That's you got to study what you getting into. Mm. The other crypto space is you put money in when it's low and you sell when it's high. Fact. When everybody talking about it, it's time to sell. Mm. When nobody's talking about it, it's time to buy. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you feel like some people was just following what you were saying, like what you did and they would- think. Well, I was talking about it when it was at 3,000. True. And then the, my fans probably spread it and then they start naming arenas after it and all that. And mm-hmm. then it just, you know, it got haywire. Mm-hmm. And then it just dumped on everybody. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm, I mean, you know, shit do dump. So did you get out in time? Um, I lost some money too. I ain't gonna lie, I lost some money, but I made a lot of money. I made money in prior cycles. Yeah. So um You didn't lose you didn't lose what you made. Exactly. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But this So shit, you ain't really lose then. No, not really. Cause I know I don't lose anyway, because it, it, a loss be a lesson to me half the time. Yeah. But um it's it just dumped down from 69 to 15, 16, anywhere between 15 and 17. It's back up to 34, so it's back doing what it do. That's why I say I went eight in right now, cause it just did a hundred percent gains. Mm. Mm. So somebody having a little bag right now and they're trying to get some money from Money Man himself, what they need to do, other than listen to Croptober, what they need to do. Oh, it's all through the music. You know, if you're getting a little money and you're trying to expand your money, you need to, you know, probably just build your credit and then build it. You know, you yo, you can have liquid money and your put your spending power need to be ten times your whatever you got. Mm. Like if I'm worth two million, my spending power need to be twenty million. Mm. Cause my relationship with um, banks and shit like that, mm-hmm. my face is a one with them. So like when I first started out rapping, I had individuals who would give me five hundred thousand, I pay them back seven hundred thousand in three or four months. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Or you just gotta have your face card a one, which is your credit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you think you think going that that route, like getting some credit money or, or learning that, is better than signing, signing to a, a record label? deal? Yeah. Um, if you if you a person who get out here and shake hands. And no people, you get what I'm saying? Like I would, I would pay somebody like me a few thousand to be like who I need to go to to get a relationship with YouTube. Not that I sell these services because I don't, mm. but it's probably somebody out here who do. Like, um, who can I hire from Spotify? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta, you just gotta be diligent about it. It's not for everybody being independent. I used to go get these loans though. My first loan was five hundred. I paid back seven in three months all my streaming. Then I got seven hundred. No, it was from a company in Florida that gave artists money mm. and you use your catalog as collateral. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. and if you didn't pay back, then they got your catalog mm. or some of it mm. for a certain amount of time until you paid it back. So it's kind of like a payday loan. Yeah, but it's 500, you paying back seven. Compared to you get 500 from a label, you paying back four or five million. Yeah. Mm. But the label can take you to the next level if you don't have to hustle then I wouldn't suggest going my route. Cause my route is I'm gonna get 500,000 from the bank. I'm gonna find out who I can pay here, who I can pay there. I'm gonna promote online, find out how to do YouTube ads, all that type shit. Mm. So have you ever thought about like just starting a major label, like just 
or you can't deal with artists? I don't I don't have time personally. Like my life too action packed for me to for me to do that. But but I got a label with my artists and I could I show them what to do and they could be on autopilot and do their thing because yeah. they all get money and move around. They all got their own motion going on. Yeah. So I just, hey, you need to do that, you need to do that. Oh, I match you with the money, or I shit, I pay for this or that. Or I'll bring you over with Empire too, where we collab, me and Empire collab on that artist. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But um as far as being a huge major label, I don't got time. So what you use Empire for like distribution? Distribution and we go Gazi, you know, me and Gazi A1. Yeah, I match bankrolls, like match the one. Yeah. You get Still what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's hard. Yeah. But I just I be wanting to put up my own money too with certain people for that respect factor. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't need you to pay for this. Yeah. It's like a nigga taking you shopping or you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can't have that. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. You can buy your flowers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Wine you and dine you. Yeah, so. Yeah. You said something earlier this year too, man. You still you still on the like no security shit? Like, because you were saying like, man, I don't need security because I know how to move and I move a certain way and you know what I'm saying? You license and shit like that. So you still on that? Well, I don't need security and I do. Like certain places I can go and I don't need no security. I know how to move. I know who I'm dealing with. I know who's going to be around me at all times. And in certain situations, you know, certain cities you go to, you're going to need security. Because yeah. certain cities is grizzly. Yeah. Mm. And um, I do show, I still do, I still do a club show here and there mm. if they pay the right amount of money. Mm. But certain cities, it ain't no getting around it. You got to have security. Even though, but I'm I'm just diligent. Like I'm not relying on security to protect yeah. my life. I done been in. I went to Dallas. I was in the club. They start shooting in the club. Security dropped his gun, and the clip dropped out his gun. <laughs> Your security? Rock, you was there. Yeah. Well, that was our security, right? Yeah, it was. That was our security. <laughs> neither, neither, <laughs> ne neither. Drop, he might have screamed. Like ah. Oh. He screamed. Yeah. <laughs> on God. He out screamed. Oh, it was crazy. So we was what? like. What? Needless to say, he was relieved of his job. He said he might have screamed. Y'all left him in the down? Yeah, we left him. Yeah, that, we took his gun. We picked this gun up. We had his gun. <laughs> left that nigga in the I'm telling you. <laughs> That's a great house, man. Give me ID too, nigga. And then you Call know, back. certain That's security crazy. will line you up. Cause you know, you are, at the end of the day, you are supposed to have security. But as a man, you haven't relying on another man to protect your life. That's insane. Yeah. Nah, I, we, I call them layers. Like, yeah. You just get it's out layers. front. Yeah. And you get out front so we know. You know what I'm saying? The like, if you get shot, then, okay, <laughs> these niggas ain't playing. Like, <laughs> shit. Exactly. But, but if you come around me, I still want to be able to protect your life like you protecting mine. Facts. So my whole day be training to do something to protect my life and whoever comes around. What's your shot like? Oh, A1. It's muscle memory at this point. It's, you get what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I do it so much, it's muscle memory. Yeah. So the people who train me, they be like, it's, it's gonna become muscle memory to you soon. So I don't even gotta look. I could just be looking down. <laughs> Hell of your business. Yeah, whatever target. Whatever hit. you wanna hit. Then. Guaranteed. Yeah. Long as it's in my peripheral, it's getting hit. What you, what's your what's your go-to gun to like care like this me? Oh, it's so many now. Um 43X, um That's FNs. A good gun. Yeah, That's it's a good so gun. many now. That's you a know good what gun. Gun. Like Glock motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Mm. So do you do you like extensions or no? Um it depends. It depends on the situation, but you know, you want to just have different ones. Like if you going in the grocery store, you want to have some compact. If you riding in the car, you you want to have some with extend you know, Cause you know, folks out here having it, they having rounds. So right, you gotta be able to keep up these days. Yeah, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's ugly out here in these streets now. Damn. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> you know, you recently said in, in, in another uh, interview that uh, money can make you weak. And I think a lot of people kind of misunderstood that quote. Can you break that down a little bit? Or what you meant by money can make you weak? Because how? you rely on everybody else to do stuff for you. You're just paying at that point. Oh, you know what I'm saying? In like, that sense. Okay. Cut my grass. Uh, go get this for me. Mm. Go do this for me. Protect me. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, it's just known. It's kind of an unspoken rule that money can soften you up. But me, I'm I'm a humble person. You get what so I'm saying? So you still go cut your grass and do certain shit just to not cut my shirt. grass per se. I ain't mm. doing that right now. But mm. but I still like to do stuff myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because in the case of having a financial distress, then you could still know how to 
take care of yourself. You saying some of the people who go through financial distress just be fucked up because yeah, it's like you got money for a lawyer, so he gonna read the contract for you and tell you what it say. I still, I still go get a lawyer, but if I can't understand it these days, I don't even sign it. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. I gotta know what it's saying. Just break it down for me. The same I, thing, like you were saying with the security by relying on another man. Like, there you go. Yeah, yeah. the same exact shit. Mm. Same like principle mm-hmm. on everything in life. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that make a lot. Because if you give somebody too much power over your life, then you're really at their hands. And people start feeling like you need them. Yeah. Like oh I'm I like bet. I'm paying you. Like, How niggas be? Like, oh shit, he needed me when he went to that show. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I would, I made sure he didn't get his mm-hmm. chain took. That's how I be. Mm-hmm. So I be like, nah, you can't do that with me. What mm-hmm. shit you ain't done yet that you want to do still? Oh shit, I don't know, man. It's it, you know what? As I learn, as I learn more, I realize how dumb I am. Cause you know they say the more you learn, the dumber you realize you are. Cause there's so much shit out here to learn and do. Thanks. So. I just take it day by day, man. It's just so much. It's so many countries I want to go to. Um, I want to go visit pyramids. It's all kind of shit I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, you're the king of like tweets and captions and all that type of shit. You always be giving game and gems in them. Uh, recently, I saw one that said, "If you're the smartest nigga in the car, you need to get out that motherfucker." There's some other tweets and captions I'm gonna ask you about too, but talk about that a little bit. I only make that in one facet of the life where um, if you're trying to come up and you got people who under you then it's hard to rise it's hard to rise you need yeah, people yeah. who can bring you up sometimes you can't just keep doing all the bringing up sometimes you need people who can help bring you up as well mm. and that's just what i meant by that tweet um like you know you can have two sets these are people over here who you fuck with genuinely mm. and then over here you fuck with these people genuinely but it's still business at the same time and they can help you rise to the occasion mm. another tweet said once you turn that negative Energy and the positive energy. I promise that's when you will become a real monster at whatever you do. I victory. Yep, I microdosed on shrooms, and I was like, "Damn, I got it." You gotta have a, a sharing and caring attitude. Yeah. <laughs> you got it's abundance mentality. Uh. Spend it, make it back. Yeah. Why can't you make it back? Mm. Yeah, it's on you to figure out how to make it back, but you got to spend that shit and make it back. You got to transition that bad shit into fuel, and that shit is gonna shoot you out of here. Yeah, you and all positive. If you positive, negativity is what hold people back. I yeah. can't do something. Facts. Like why you Facts. can't do it? What you, what you think? What you think you got your mindset from? I don't know, man. It's just you. I think you got to be born with that mindset sometimes, and then how how you was raised, maybe the people around you. Because I'm the type of person I feel like I can overcome anything. You know what I'm saying? But um. Um, really, you you just gotta go through certain shit and and conquer it. Like you know, every man's supposed to go through some type of pain or some type of. You get what I'm saying? Mm. You gotta go through some shit. You to can't. Grow. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Mm. You can't just be soft out here. You gotta go through shit and it make you stronger. Mm-hmm. No, that's facts. That's facts. Gangsta Lean is one of the records on Croptober, and it seemed like you poured your heart on that track. Like, what was you going through when you? Recorded that particular when record. I made Gangsta Lean. Um, I don't know, I just go through phases of recording. Like, I don't record every day, some will hit me that day, you know what I'm saying, and I feel good. And then I just go record. I, I recorded Fear No Man and Gangsta Lean around the same time, mm, this, yeah. And then the rest of Crop Um, um, I was just looking at the moon, it was like, damn, that you said was, looking at the moon, yeah, it was a full moon, and it was giving it. I feel like it gave me energy. Time? No, I wasn't on shrooms, but sometimes I ain't gonna lie, I'm a different person. I get a natural high. Yeah. From yeah. life. Like I just get high like I'm on a drug. Me I don't too. know, it's hard to explain. Me you ever had that? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm high today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I'm, you get what I'm saying? I'm calling like, everybody. Everything is just amazing and yeah. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. and yes, I'm calling yes. everybody shit. You know, we can do this, we can do that. You know, you can do this, you can do that. I motivate people too. Yeah. Mm. And um, I was just up late night looking at the moon and was like, damn, it hit me. Boom, I need to record Cops Over. And I do it in. 12 hours or 18 hours. How you handle it when you just, when you when you try and try and try with a person, but you see like this person just don't mean me no good. How you handle them situations? Oh, you just gotta be positive about it, man. And and cut that off. If a person don't mean you no good, cut them off. I cut off anything that's not positive around me, gotta go. Cause I'm trying to win. Right. And I'm trying to be legendary. Yeah. I ain't got time to argue with nobody. A billionaire once said, when you trying to be a billionaire or you trying to be a multi-millionaire, you don't got time to argue. Or you ain't got time for nobody who weighing you down. You got to cut that shit off. Good shit. 
Mm-hmm. And if it's family, you know, you fought with her from a distance. Like when I see it, it's cool. You know, we kick it, we laugh and all that. But when I'm on my mission, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it ain't no extracurricular dealing. None of that. Nothing. Yeah. Like, What's the situation where you had to cut somebody off and it really kind of hurt you? Because he was like, damn, like this is a tough one. Like it might be kind of easy on a day to day. Like, okay, I got to cut this person off, cut this person off. It could, be a, it could have been one of your one of your homeboys. It could have been a bitch. It could have been anybody. Like, um, I just cut late. Like if a nigga lazy, he getting cut off. Because cause it's like, shit, we to the point where we trying to get this bag. You know what I'm saying? So if you just got uh, slouching around. Like I, I really can't do nothing with you. Or for you, you get what I'm saying. Right. Nor can you do something for me. You know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like a, a situation that I can handpick. It's been so long since I had somebody around me like that. Like mm. shit, I learned in high school you can't have that type of person around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. What about female? How hard it is cutting females off? Oh, I only mess with keepers. So <laughs> <laughs> just keeping it real. Like yeah, shit. yeah I get smart women. Um, they be on what I'm on. Mm. Healthy eating, mm. um, they know they own their financial shit. Mm. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So it don't be no discrepancies. Mm. What it, what it, what is your Achilles heel though? Like, what's the one thing that kind of fuck you up and might get you off your shit a little bit? Man, being transparent and being honest. I'm, I'm, yeah, because nobody's perfect. But mm. um, shit, food. If I overeat, I'm lazy. Mm. But other than that, it ain't. I don't, I don't have too many vices. Like, like, like maybe, I'm not maybe a, shopping. Oh, I shop. I'm a shopaholic, but yeah. I got the money to do it for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm a shopaholic, yeah. and I'm not an extreme splurger. Like I'm not buying ten Lambos and five Rolls Royce truck. I mean, I'm buying cars. You mm. get what I'm saying? Mm. But but my day is mostly my day is mostly like getting better as a person, stronger, smarter, mm. healthier. Mm. My day not worried about what the latest trend is or you get what I'm saying. Like I don't keep up with other niggas. Mm. I don't know what the next nigga got going on. I listen to everybody's music, but I don't know personally what the next nigga got going on. How you find the diligence to, because I ain't gonna lie, you, you you motivated me one time when you put up some shit. It was like, I think you said you worked out six, seven times that day. And my dumb ass went and tried to work out three, four times and that didn't work out too well. So how, Is that dietary? Is that just mental or what? Watch I this. could knock down two workouts, but after that, that's it. Watch this. Rock, when I go to the house, what I'm doing all day? When you come to the house? All day. Workout, shooting range, all day. So anytime you got like some downtime, you're trying to figure out what you about to do, then you just jump into the workout or jump into the shooting. I'm exhausted after the day. I'm going to sleep or I'm recording. Yeah. Some days, you know, I got that that energy. Like I'm all day up, all day working out, all day recording, all day whatever. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. most of the time, um, shit, I'm trying to get. I'm listen. I'm I'm a um, what you call them when somebody who does something. Impulsively, Impulsive. yeah, I'm like that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I got addictive behaviors. Mm-hmm. When I was on drugs, I was on drugs heavy. Too. Yeah, I'm on drink. I listen. I used to drive all the way to Miami to go get some drink. If it ain't no drink in Atlanta, I'm going to Miami. I'm going wherever it's at, driving. But now I done switched that over to mm-hmm. on positive mm-hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Working out and shit like that. What's some of the other like business ventures you got coming for, like outside of music? I, man, it's so many opportunities. I'm trying to figure out where to put money. You get what I'm saying? Because you know we in a tricky we in a tricky landscape right now. True. As far as investing wise, but mm-hmm. shit, music keep the money coming in because I record so much, put out so much quality music, um, that my catalog is just insane. But as far as investments, of course, I invest in crypto. You get what I'm saying? But um, it's just kind of tricky. You know, I'm in the middle right now. Where do I want to put this money? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who's some people you look to like like pick up some game, pick up some knowledge from? Um, I pick up game and knowledge from every everybody. Like I pick up game from the poorest to the richest. But I listen to um shit, some of everything. I listen to y'all podcasts. I listen to Joe Rogan. Um, I listen to shit on ancient history because you know your, your history dictates your future. Right. I right. listen to um I listen to um somebody named Brad Lee on business. Um, I look at comedy podcasts. I consume shit all day. When I'm running around and shit like that, moving around, I'm just consuming information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the, so what what's what's the I ain't gonna say like thoughtless, but what's like maybe the when you don't have to use your brain so much activity that you do like the 
the unwind, the relief, other than shopping, like. Man, my mind is always racing. It's crazy. I yeah. sometimes I could barely go to sleep because my mind, like, I was just up. I just went. I only went to sleep probably three hours last night, but I was up for thirty six hours. I had ranting. You don't miles. sleep. No, I do, but what I've been eating right now ain't been allowing me to sleep for some reason. What you mean by that? I, I've been on almonds, and I make some spirulina lemonade, blue spirulina, mm -hmm. with agave, straight organic lemon juice, Mountain Valley spring water. I make that, boom, it give me energy, a jolt of energy. I don't know why. And then the almonds, I don't know what's going on. I was up. I was up 36 hours before I came and caught that plane. I had recorded a whole Catch Me If You Can came out, which was... uh. My album for the swipers, mm -hmm. and you know the white collar mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. And I, I did the deluxe to that, recorded that whole thing, ran 10 miles, hit the range. Then I hopped on the plane, came here, and um, ripped and ran the whole day yesterday. I just did a whole uh, day in the life with Pandora. Mm -hmm. Then I tried to go to sleep. I slept two, three hours. Mm -hmm. um, the gang was in there recording. So I was going to hop on some of that, but it just happened. No, you know what? I went to sleep again. Let me not lie. So I did about four hours of sleeping. Then I woke up. Then I went and did an interview. Then I just came here. Now I'm doing it. And interview. you operating okay like that? I'm like, good. Good. You know what? That Starbucks might I to put two shots in that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Starbucks keep you up, man. Yeah. So it might got me lit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you still live in Atlanta? I, back and forth. Back and forth? Yeah. Yeah. So you... You was in Texas last time. You was in Texas, right? Yeah, for sure, Texas. Between Texas and Atlanta. Okay, you still yeah. loving that? Love it. I love both. Yeah, both of them like home to me, right? So, now. Your, so the farm and like all of that that you have, that's out there in Texas. Yeah, right? for sure. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Yeah. Who watch your shit? Like who? What, you, who nurture your farm? You do? Man, um, I got family down there who do it, and they be watching over it and shit like that. But sometimes it be out of commission, you know, when everybody got something to do. But I'm trying to get back on. I just been having so much to do, man. It's hard. Because, you know, when you doing that shit, that shit is a, a task. Yeah. You got to watch it. It's like growing weed. When you grow weed, you got to really pay attention to it. You got to babysit that yeah, shit. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, this shit be crazy. Looking at the game right now, like the rap game, what you see that's missing and, and needed? Um, I, I feel like the rap game cool because everybody got their own little motion going on. Like, um, that's what the rap game is. It's just a bunch of people. You might have somebody with a ten thousand person fan base, somebody with a million person fan base, twenty thousand person fan base. You know, it ain't just controlled by radio and the major labels no more. Mm -hmm. You could kind of come out here and get your own motion. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you think missing? Like, if somebody can bring something to the game that's not here. Like um, shit. It's everybody bringing everything. It's realness. It's fakeness. <laughs> it's Trap is Christian. It's everything you can imagine in the rap game right now. Mm. If you looking for it, yeah. depending on what you looking for. Mm. Mm. Right. That song, man, Money Man, Sweetie, man. When, when you put that out, did you know it was gonna stir up some shit? Because Glor Glorilla kind of wasn't feeling it. Even oh I yeah, she was shit. skinny bitch in my DM looking like Glorilla. She was though. <laughs> I'm good. It wasn't like Glorilla. It was another skinny. Yeah, it was a skinny bitch in my DM. She looked like Glorilla. So for you, you just saying you was rapping about some shit you went through. So it was, it was, it was just figuratively not. Yeah, I, I say that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like brown skin yeah. bitch feeling on my chest. She looked like Sweetie. You know what I'm saying? Like the, she's brown she skin, was, pretty, look like did. Sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I just use names and um, raps all the time. I use football players, rappers. Yeah. Female rappers, you know what I'm saying? Why you think she didn't take so kindly to it? Cause she, she, you know, she, 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 she I mean, she got a nice figure. She say she thick, you know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, I didn't say nothing derogatory about her. She <laughs> just slim. I, I thought the song was was, was hard. Like, yeah, yeah. This is she just slim. Like she, she's a slim, nice looking young lady. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, I just made the you know the reference. You know what I'm saying? That's what fit the rap. At when you was and then I can't control what come in my head at the time and I don't be trying to have filters you know what I'm saying like having filters yeah, to make your you music filter, that fucks up your creativity you make it trash yeah ain't no feeling in it so I'm just saying whatever comes to my mind you know what I'm saying I'm not trying to disrespect nobody or nothing like that it's just it is what it is mm. who the coldest jeweler in the game that you ever dealt with oh it's a few cold ones but I'm, I'm rocking with my boy Ali right now he giving me the real VVs man you know what I'm saying like it's okay. no moistenite over here I've been seeing all the moistenite going around <laughs> it's, that season. it's a lot of that <laughs> it's that season man $4,000 is that season $4,000 $2,000 oh man I ain't, but look I ain't, I ain't gonna shame nobody you know what I'm saying cause you know folks gotta fit their budget how can you tell how can you tell 
I can just see it, man. That bitch be sparkly, man. That shit look glittery. Like I it just, has too many different dimensions of colors. Yeah, like <laughs> what we doing here? <laughs> like, come on, big homie. Like, yeah, <laughs> me personally, like if I'm a rap artist, I wouldn't do that. Like, I got some type of pride. Like, I feel I that. just like plain when, Jane. Or, yeah, plain Jane or Apple. You know what I'm saying? Or That's nothing. Just, yeah, until like, I can afford it. Because yeah. you, when you walk into a room with certain people, you don't want to look crazy. I was just gonna ask yes. you that. What, what if somebody like that walk in the room with you for like a feature or some shit? Like, what's your What's your response like? I could. You gonna like sneak this in the feature? I could definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we ain't rocking no moist tonight. <laughs> real, <way>. real diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> definitely might slip them. Yeah. But what you think about the philosophy of just throwing it out there, the fake it till you make it shit? Because some niggas. I don't believe in that. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't believe in that. No, I don't sorry. either. But I'm saying, what about the nigga who got moist tonight in 2023 and then 20? But that's but but I feel like when niggas when niggas do shit like that and when niggas get fake jewelry. Not taking anything away from anybody or whatever. I feel like that's an insecurity within yourself because you feel like you have to compete with the next nigga. Straight well, on. Maybe they're trying like to put on for their fans. <laughs> I don't keep it real. I don't feel like that. Because, because at the end of the day, you got to look at it like this. This shit is all costume. That's a nigga that don't. Like, I remember the nigga, um, Och, what one of them football players said, oh, he's sick. He had the money to do it. What about the niggas who got the money to buy that shit? But they just don't cherish that but shit. Then stop doing you it. You got some niggas that don't cherish this shit. But it's a costume. Some people look at this rap shit. You look at this rap shit because you rapping your real life. Yeah. As like, okay, I got to be organic because I'm speaking my real shit. Some niggas look at this shit as I'm only entertaining. But those are people who just here for the moment. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. I, yeah, yeah, for sure. Some yeah. niggas ain't here to be real. They just here to do now, it. And I respect that. Yeah, yeah I respect that. Yeah. yeah. But, but I still, I still, but like me personally, I'm not speaking for nobody else. I still feel like I even get what y'all it, saying. no, yeah, like I still agree. feel like even if you have the money to do it and you still get the fake shit for whatever reason or whatever, you're still trying to. It's something within you that's still trying to keep up to match and the look of oh, another. But, but that's, that fake shit for teenagers, man. Let's be real. Like that's for like. No, it's when a lot you, of grown in high school. Money, you get what I'm saying? Grown niggas now, <laughs> like. For what it's, though? I'm, I'm not saying, because, saying they like. Exist. What's the purpose? But look, if your clothes, fake, I get the purpose, your jewelry, but fake, it's like you you got some character flaws that you'll probably do some fake shit to me. Mm, mm. If you'll go get fake shit, you'll do some fake shit to me. That's a great debate. Because yeah, the niggas, I, the I solid agree. niggas I know, I agree, ain't doing that. They don't give a. It's fuck. niggas who will go to my jeweler to prove that they're buying real shit. Who in my circle? Like, hey, who you get yours from? I'm finna go to him and spend it. You get what I'm saying? Just so I won't feel a certain type of way about them. Not that I'm the master who tells who real or fake, mm. but they they go do shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great debate. <laughs> nah, that's a great yeah, debate. But I, I still, bro, I'm just a devil advocate, bro, because I know some niggas that'll go get some fake ass shit and don't even care about the jury or how you feel. But listen, but and listen, they're not but, fucked up. But no, but listen, are listen. they fucked up niggas? If they don't care why they're they getting fucking it, the same that's bitch. what I'm saying. If they don't care why they're getting it, because it look good. Yeah, it's, a it's for the image. But why are you, you concerned get... about the image? Do you think because niggas, that's do you the way niggas... the world the world want to see you do <laughs> Do you think niggas would buy fake Maybach if they could? Yes, yes. Okay. of course. Hey, yeah. yeah. they like shit. This shit. Why niggas? Why niggas converting? <laughs> I'm not saying it's converting right. the cars to shit like that. You remember that? But that's what I'm saying. But but you gotta you gotta look at a Honda to a vet. You gotta look at the bigger picture to the shit though. Like it looks good, you know, whatever, whatever, and and but you know it's an image. Different. Everybody is morally different, bro. No, I get that. Yeah, put y'all. But what I'm saying is that the bigger I'm picture gonna... is at the root of all of that shit that we're talking about. There's something there that's pushing them to the we, point like I, can... I have to do this. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? No, I don't. don't I, yeah. But I'm looking at it as, hey, she winked, she'll fuck. So niggas are trying to get a wink. I don't give a fuck what you're looking at. But there's something. I'm not all this fake shit. But there's something in you that makes you feel like you have to have the fake shit to get the wink to make her the fuck. Because that's the same reason. That, hold up. But that's the same reason why niggas, listen. Okay, if I just think about how this, how this, how this internet society has made shit. Not saying I would do it, but I'm saying I get it. Because at the end of the day, you come out rapping your natural life. How hard is that? How hard is that to get a motherfucker to look that way? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's not. But if you got the money to pack that shit on, my shit look just like if you don't know real jury, because you ain't never bought none. Most of the fans never bought real jury. That's 
So they don't know. Just niggas like this know what real shit is. Yeah, I, I could I could look at it. I ain't That's what I'm saying. Look but right a nigga that don't know, and I got this shit packed on just like money, man. <laughs> Fake shit. <laughs> we the same. <laughs> okay, so like, 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 but look, like, but like. we not though. Like, 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 we not though, yeah, but right. we are. Yeah, right. Right. Two for the eye. Right. Okay, but so let me. That's win. bad energy. You bringing yourself bad energy when you do shit. Like Hold up, but they say stoning them shit was fake as fuck. That, in the beginning. Damn, that's that's ooh, I fuck with Stone. Shout out to Stone. Well, you know what I'm saying? Stone my man. This is my man. Oh, right. They say all that shit was nothing. Turk came up here and said that. Yeah. But, but here, look, here's my thing though. Uh -huh. Here's my thing over that. And and I'm I'm not I'm not wavering on like how the fuck I feel about that. If that was the case, and if baby and if baby and them shit was fake in the beginning, there was something that made them say that I need this. Cause this shit gonna drive us to a hundred million dollar deal. I see what this game is going to. They want to. They want to see some jury. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's still something there at the bottom of that that what? made them feel like they needed some to do that. Some niggas are hustlers and flim flammers though too. <laughs> that's some what, niggas are flim flammers. So if I flim flam, flam, flam the game, how you mad at me that I flim flam for this paper though? That's all. I can see this no, shit no. in turners and then and then it come out. Boy, you just yeah. fake as hell. You just a fake ass nigga with some fake ass jury on. No, but what, what I did was put on the right costume. Do you look at somebody different though? If they got fake jewelry on, oh. loads of it, are you gonna look at them different? For sure. It depends. No. If you just, oh, no, you do. Oh, no, no, baby. Don't do that. Don't do that, baby. Let me say this. 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 Let me Listen, y'all can't tell me. If I see that you're, you believe that shit real and it's fake, you're a fake ass nigga. But if I know you working your move with this shit, Okay, I, I gotta respect the game. I feel you that. I feel Cause you I'm a that. hustler, bro. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I gotta respect the game or what a nigga no, doing. You, That's just like saying, if I say, "Money, let me wear this watch tonight." I got this bitch. She like jewelry. Yeah. I'm a fake nigga. No. Cause I want this bitch to see this watch. She wanna suck some dick. She wanna suck this watch. <laughs> suck, it. suck it, bitch. <laughs> Do that make me a fake ass nigga? Because I pulled up in Jay Bentley, Money <laughs> Man, watch on. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't say that, man. Uh, now, you say, now, if you say it's yours. That's called working a nigga too. You're not going to say. I come from that. You can't tell me. I just feel the rapper that I though. let wear my watch nah, and shit. You're not going to tell the female is money watching Jay Bentley. I ain't going to tell her shit. What does she ask? What she asking this for? <laughs> bitch, I'm in it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what you, bitch, I ain't asking. Now, she asked afterward. Yeah, that was my man shit, bitch. So that what you fought that watch? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you I'm can't get mad at a nigga for their game. They working their moves. That's what I'm saying. A nigga that, that's running. Now, a nigga that's wearing that shit, because I know some fake ass niggas that wear shit and be lying to themselves and everybody. Mm. And then it, yeah, but but you just but a fake ass nigga. But, but it's not, but it's not, it's not, it's not anger and it's not standing in judgment or anything like that. We're just analyzing and understanding sure. the for fact sure. that, that it's that it's something within that nigga or that bitch or whatever that's making them feel like they have to have these enhancements in order to be on the same playing field as Jay everybody else. Jay is saying they insecure, basically. She said You can't that say that though, bro. That's what prime example. Saying. Prime example. Bird and them had the money though, right? Them niggas already money getting niggas. Yeah. Master P and them came out by the by the uh, they were they were soldiers. Yeah. Then they came out flexing. Yeah, for sure. So this is a part of the, our campaign. You know what I'm saying? Then we went and got a 30, 100 million dollar deal, whatever. Now we can buy this shit and keep it going to the next level. I don't, I don't yeah, see nothing wrong I'm with not, it. I'm not saying that. No, that's because it's all entertainment. Oh. I don't see nothing wrong with a nigga something? entertainment. Just no, me personally. No, care. it's not anything wrong with it at all. But we're just saying that. It's not normal. Like there's something it within the it's nigga. It's totally normal. It's more normal for a nigga to wear fake shit than to have buy the real shit. No, but what I'm it saying is. is regardless, regardless of that, it's we're we're saying that it's something in the nigga that makes him feel how what am I trying to say? Not less than, but, but makes you know him feel like he could be a crap, though. You got, but not nah, you got be a crap. You got, you got, you got, be a nigga that don't believe in spending the money on that type that's what of I'm shit. Saying. But you if got, he doesn't believe in spending his money on that type of shit, why is he trying to fake it? I'm I not the, faking it. The, I'm entertaining. I got the I got but I listen, hear me out. Hear me out. You got them. I this what it takes to be a rapper. You got them. I don't, I don't see feel the like difference. I don't want to spend two, three hundred million on some motherfucking hundred million dollars on some cheer. I don't feel like that. That's no. wrong with none. Damn, I got. I just feel like you just, just buy the real shit, man. I don't know why. No, we. we I think <laughs> everybody in the table feels yeah, like I know, I know, buy the I real shit. But what about the niggas who buy fake Jordans? 
Oh, you can't. Nah, you just. Hell, hell no. Nah. You might as well go kill yourself. No, no, no. You might as well go kill yourself. No, 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 no. Some of them niggas. Some of them niggas is on some. Like you say, costume. No. Nah, you just. That ain't costume. So so you sitting around here, you walking around with a million dollar watch with two million dollars worth of chains and some Mexican Jordans? Oh, that's right. That's crazy. Bro, I know some niggas. Come on, bro. That's like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I'm, 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 it's in the L for me because. I ain't talking about the nigga that just wearing fake. He just a fake ass nigga. No, <laughs> we not talking about, about him either. Who is actually because you gotta think, bro. I done seen this shit down before, and some niggas that y'all would never believe. Oh yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, I, I believe that. I know niggas That's to this day yeah, that y'all I mean, fucking praise that got. The fakest shit on, but and it's yeah. something within them that's making them feel like Not they need really. to do that. It, them nigga might just feel like I don't want to spend that on that. But if you don't, if you don't want to spend that on that, then why the fuck are you trying to fake it? But look, I, I, I feel like I feel like you could shine. Right? You could shine with no jewelry on, for sure. The jury just, just illuminates. Of course, jewelry yeah. makes gotta, it makes it look right. more believable. No, we're not debating right. that at all, but we're debating <laughs> no, the I'm fact real. that you it, it's something within you that so. that you that is like that something within you that's that's fucking making you feel like you aren't as worthy but as everybody else. But you can remix else. that though. Hold on, you, hold on. There's a flip side to that too, because a nigga who buying the fake shit could feel like he confident enough, enough to wear the fake shit. A nigga that's buying, and oh, he can feel like I'm just being real. <laughs> I know, I know. And a nigga who buying the real shit, okay, that that. That clarifies who you are because you're spending your money on some shit that and don't a matter. But look, a nigga feel like that. that. Yeah, yeah, of if course. you finesse it, I'm never mad at finessing though. Like, That's all I'm saying. Go bro. to the label. How you gonna be mad? The fake shit got a five ten million dollar career. Huh? What if the nigga with the fake shit got a five ten million dollar career? Or got the money for real? It doesn't. What I'm saying is that's all. You're just all saying that cool. they're insecure. It doesn't matter if, if you, you still feel like you need to fake it. But you We're not no judging way. you at all, but it's something within you that feels like you need to compete with the next nigga. I understand what you're saying. I do understand but that what you're ain't saying. Compete. But it's why would you pay four racks is, but... for the, the fake AP? Huh? 4,000 for the fake AP. That's just, oh, sorry. 4,000 for the fake AP? Yeah, you, you don't be seeing the shit going on yeah, Instagram and be like 4,000 for the voice tonight. Yeah. Like, why would you yeah. do that? I don't, we don't know. But we have to ask somebody. We have to ask somebody. If you don't know, if you don't know, that means blessing. We have to act like literally. We have Why to. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> like I come from where we finesse, bro. I sell. Now we we sell fake no. bricks, bro. I ain't never <laughs> sold a real brick. So fake bricks, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. So I understand the finesse of it. You like, had okay, real jewelry, huh? You had real jewelry. Yeah, for sure. Double on wet no more because I, I can't afford it. this shit. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I can't afford. Like the nigga Floyd Mayweather, Gucci, all them. They done won the jury race. Right. Like, what are you gonna do? What, like, if you need to buy eight, eighteen million dollars watching this shit, they won, they win. Now, nah, I see, ain't nobody going that far. You just get jury to make you feel good. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying a nigga who just say Vincent, a nigga with that same, we say four thousand dollars fake AP. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got the fake shit. Woo -woo, he walk in the label. Mm. Off the rip, the label's gonna be like sign him. <laughs> That's what's up. You just finesse for a bag. No, I'm not mad at that. Like, no, that's what finesse. I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You can take that shit off and throw it in the trash can and buy you some real shit. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm sure. saying. I'm not upset at the finesse. I'm not judging the finesse. I'm I'm applauding the finesse. But what like, I'm saying is at the fucking bottom of that fucking finesse, there's something within you when you go to sleep at night that's telling you, okay, nah, I'm not matching up and that's what I need to do. It's a nigga that's high-fiving me, boy. Like, I'm going to wait for that fake ass Rolex, boy. But after I you high five the nigga, when you get home and look in the mirror, there's still something that's telling you like, okay, this is what I need to do in order to be able to I don't know that. I don't know what you saying. Right. I get we talking about something different. I we no. all talking about something I'm in the middle of what I'm saying is, What I'm saying is, <laughs> okay, so if you sell a nigga a fake bale of weed, you go home at night, you gonna, your conscience going to eat you up? You got a bale of weed and <laughs> fake jewelry is different. But look, you got different. Fake, fake now. A fake brick and fake jewelry is different, bro. Fake is oh, fake. Now. You finesse it for the money with both. Two it's it's really like a fake ecosystem. You're not wearing it. Because you're, you're doing that, that the fake fool on the, the, the bullshit level. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like an ecosystem of fake niggas. Because you wearing the fake watch to impress other fake niggas. Because the niggas who silent and know about jewelry, they're going to be like, get away from me. I don't even want to do business with you at this point. Because I look at your watch. You, you get what I'm saying? Them, you can't look at some of that shit and tell though. I don't give a fuck. With I can diamonds, tell them watches, I can these tell. niggas buying real gold fake. Only way you know the watch is fake if you open it. Mm. Uh, yep, yeah, they putting them back together. They, they do Only way you like know that. this shit is fake if you Man. open it. They got shit passing. The jury tell they take the light now. But I can tell those diamonds. Moisture night diamonds, I can look at and tell. 
I just because when I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'll be like, damn, that shit, right? She right. said it's moisture night, but it's moisture night. Moisture night diamonds, like chandeliers. What you talking about? The lab diamonds. Them lab diamonds. Lab diamonds are different than moisture night. That's what I'm talking about. But these niggas are buying lab diamonds. Lab diamonds are real. You get what I'm saying? I don't buy lab diamonds. I want pure from the earth diamonds. Them lab yeah. diamonds I want fake though. They fake though. But well, niggas is buying that like shit. It's like a clone human being. Yeah, that's you what, get what I'm saying. It's, it's like, like a, a super it's, SI. No, listen, a nigga oh, just a it's like, and it's like the watermelon out. without the seeds. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah like the watermelon yeah, without the yeah. seeds. Yeah. For real. Yeah, but the moisture <laughs> night is like a whole different. But that's that ain't as potent. It's just nah, but look, it's its own mineral. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it's a different type of mineral than a diamond. Right, for sure. They got VVS moisture night on here and. VS moisture night. It's crazy. I don't get into that. But at the end of the day, what do you, that's what I don't, like, it's all what you value to. You know what I'm saying? It's all what, it, it, it's all about what you value. But my thing, I'm buying real jewelry to put on paper as assets. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Appraisals, mm. things of that nature, because you know, but I, that's what I do. You just weighing your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, got, you got some of your money on. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know about the, the different jewelry. Like, I can go get tricked. Yeah. I can go get tricked. I can go spend the same amount of money that he's spending and get tricked because I don't really know what yeah. diamond's supposed to look like and all that shit. So yeah. I'm going to just stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. You get what I'm saying? That's real. That's real. That's like, I'm just stay away from it because yeah. it all look the same to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I'm a kind of sewer. I, I look at my jewelry. I when I seen the nigga with this fake ass shit on. Like, nigga got their name on fake shit. Like, Custom fake shit. See that? You got, that's sometimes that shit. You, I ain't gonna lie. That's going too far. Because why would you associate your name right with material like that? Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Fake right, material. Right. right. Like, what are you doing? That's bad energy. It take a second. Yeah. Time. I'm telling you. Bad you cursing your kids doing shit like that. I'm telling you. God don't like that. that bad energy. She said God don't. Like that. Yeah. Like. I'm telling like you. Like God is gonna punish you. <laughs> Now, if you get tricked, that's another thing. You know, that ain't your fault. But a lot of niggas be getting tricked. A lot of niggas yeah. be getting tricked. These mm-hmm. jewelers, the same way you going in there saying that you buy, thinking you buy some shit, these jewelers will charge you high as fuck for some yeah. fake shit. Mm-hmm. And, and, and our, our folks really do need to get educated on paying all this money because some of these jewelers just downright getting, getting over. I done bought chains before and another jeweler done took it apart and been like, boy. That ain't nothing. You bro. need to go kill him. Thank you. Yeah. Man. That shit happens all the time. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like. Damn. Stay away from that shit, man. That you going to get that shit, what they call it, certified. But it's another right. thing when, when you got a Cuban and it's heavy and you can feel that solidness and you see them diamonds, it does something to you. Like it gives you some type of yeah. positive energy. Mm. It's crazy. And then you got to spend, you got to make money and spend money. Make money and spend it. Yeah. Keep the flow going. Abundance say. mentality, man. Keep making that shit. Yeah, if you don't believe you're gonna make money, you're not gonna make money. If you believe and know you're gonna make money, you're gonna get up every morning and do something to make that yeah. money. Mm. It's it's works. What they say in the Bible is faith with works. So you mm-hmm. gotta yeah. have them, you gotta manifest it and go do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But the key to life is positivity. Yeah, no, nah, we, yeah. we spoke on that. That's the key to life. What what about in what about in turbulent times? Like turbulence, and I'm sure you've been through You gotta weather the storm, man. Weather. We I look see, I look I separate men from women. Men, you gotta weather the storm. Mm. Like I nigga don't wanna hear your sad story. Facts. I mm. got empathy, but I don't wanna hear that shit. Cause don't I don't put I don't my want that burden, energy. Yeah, I don't yeah. put burden on nobody else. Right. I don't do that. I don't go around, man. I'm fucked up, man. If I'm fucked up, you would never know. Right. Mm. I'm gonna go get out the hole by myself. I'm not gonna drag nobody down with me. Cause folks wanna drag you down. They, you know, misery love company. Yeah. Mm. We were just talking about this the other day. Like I learned from him, like when I'm in a bad mood or I'm in like a funk or like I'm in a space where like I know I'm on some bullshit, I stay to myself until I get that shit off me. Best way and to then know. I come outside and then it's back up to the natural high. Like, hey, how are you? Energy does transfer. You yeah. sour, you gonna make the next nigga sour, and he gonna got. Go. And then y'all sourness yeah. is just gonna circulate in y'all circle, and it's just yeah. gonna be bad. Who do like, that? Mm-hmm. What you think of some ways to get out that negative energy space, like eating better, exercising, getting sunlight? Oh yeah, yeah. Because like when you when you work out, you feel better. You gotta go outside and get fresh air. Got to, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Work out, you feel better. Go make you some money. You know what I'm saying? You know, go do shit that make you stand out in this life. Mm-hmm. Right. Another big tweet you put out is that basically, 
don't know word for word, but basically, fuck all that shit. I'm trying to be legendary. What is legendary? Like that means I think I'm, sometimes people throw the word around too loosely. Not saying you, but just in general. Well, money what definition is definition of legendary? legendary? Oh, le- a legend. That means your name gonna live on in the right way. You get what I'm saying? Like, um, so you can't be legendary. Like, I guess in the tor- for bad, not bad. Shit. You can be a legendary snitch. Oh, wow. A legendary serial killer. Okay, Alpo. <laughs> yeah, you could be, or you could be. They still talking about that nigga to this day. Yeah, so I'm, I'm the type of person like I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. So I want to go up. If I go out, then I'm going out with a bang. You get what I'm saying? Mm. It just is what it is. But like I said, every day, that's why I'm trying to get stronger, smarter, wiser. Like folks will sit around and, and, and pick through my music like a college course. Like, what does he mean by this? What does he mean by that? You get what I'm saying? That's big that you yeah. even got them to the point where they feel like they need to dissect it to be able to learn. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm my shit is about all the weed and all the scamming and Full all that shit. Gyms. But it's also about they got some health shit in there. Mm-hmm. Um, shut the fuck up with that. We should hit the gym and lift some weights. You get what I'm saying? It's throwing you in there for, for different type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying to motivate you. I'm trying to motivate, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really on the goddamn shaming niggas and putting niggas down. Nah, man, come on. Let's go hit the gym, get a quick pump in, man. Let's go get some money, man. Let's go goddamn hit the range. Let's goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, let's go drive these muscle cars. Mm-hmm. Let's go goddamn race. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that. I'm on trying to be action packed all day. I'm not on the uh, sit back, be sad about life. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's too much. Life has too much to offer. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful women out here. Fast cars, it's guns, it's everything out here. You get what I'm saying? I feel like when when you got some shit going on in your life that's like going wrong or like not going the way that you want to, you should attack life and fucking try to figure out how to figure that shit out instead of like sitting back dwelling on the problem. You gotta fucking be proactive and fucking fucking hunt down the solution. You see what I'm saying? See, look, I, I was on shrooms one night. And how you just said that? Yeah. Exactly how I was thinking. Yeah. Like, I went outside because them shits are how you going outside. Like, I got to get some fresh air. <laughs> yeah. I microdose and be in the house. I can't stop moving. I'm just moving, moving, moving. Like, I'm jogging in place. Then I go outside and be like, damn, boy. I got to be more aggressive. I got to go meet some people. You know what I'm saying? So you like, do the actual shroom, shroom like mushroom. I'm, I'm, do doing, chocolate chocolate bar. I'm doing raw. I don't, that chocolate bar, I don't know what they put in it. I want raw shrooms because I fold the eights. The, uh, how much? I, how much did you take? I, I, I eight the eights I got is about this big. They dry it. Yeah, I take about that much. If I go the whole thing, it'll take you over the edge. How many so, grams in it? That might be about I say about three grams. But you take what you do is you get the raw and you take pieces until you feel it because you know you don't want it to sneak up on you. So take a piece about that big. You gotta you integrate. Wait, it. You wait, wait about 15, 20 minutes in between each piece. Yeah, because yeah. you because it shrooms will sneak up on you yeah. and you'll be gotten him. <laughs> how you blow yeah. that shit though? Like yeah. you want to blow the how? How you do? It? Oh, th- this is a high you'll never want to blow. I'm talking about if you feel like if you seeing shit crawling and shit. Oh, that, don't, it. oh, it's hard to do that. You gotta wait till it wear off. But never try and get to that point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the point I get to. The point I get to is crazy. <laughs> the point I get to feel like Adderall. Mm. Uh, nah, I'm on. I took I took the candy, man. That shit had me feel up. I went to two chain party, man. You know the dress up. Groovy. <laughs> oh yeah, groovy. That's, That's what, what he said. I thought groovy. I'm Rick James. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, different. Then nigga had his no. shirt on with his little taco. <laughs> <laughs> I was sweating like a nigga. I said, I like this shit. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the shrooms I take, they make you want to just lift weights. Like I go hit the fifties on shoulder rest. Boom. Boom! Like what the fuck? They give you testosterone. It's crazy. Yeah. We got black looking. <laughs> tell you, I've been picking, you know I, I shred my shit up and put it in my food. Like, see oh for real? Food. Yeah. I just did a cooking show uh, yesterday. We was doing um, DMT infused food with the um, mushrooms and making some stir fry with oyster mushrooms. Shit was dope. Mm. Th- that's what I was just telling you about the oyster mushrooms. They taste like. Oh, you chicken. not on them yet? Yeah. No. Oh, them bitches taste like chicken. Yeah, really. Chicken, yeah. like they gave me some oyster mushrooms and like didn't tell me what they were. I really thought chewy. they were thought chicken. Chicken, like, yeah, for sure. Too yeah. Yo, and they give you all your minerals, copper, keep your health good, Damn, all yeah. that type of shit. Yeah. I gotta start. I gotta start fucking with that. Mm-hmm. A lot of them other shrooms, them goddamn. You know they got other ones. They got the blue hill billies. Them a little more creative. They, it's all kind. It's like it's a bunch of different kind of shrooms. The and they all do different things. It give you creativity. Creativity. Hold on, let me write that down. Yeah, yeah. Where you getting them from? 
<sighs> you know, you gotta you gotta know a couple folks. You could grow them too, but it's it's, it's kind of hard to grow them. Yeah. Um, I got some blue hillbillies uh with me, but not with me. With me, yeah. right down the street. Yeah. My room. So I'm that blue hillbillies. So mm-hmm. Did the feeling <laughs> shrooms make you regret ever like doing drinking all that shit? Like no, but fuck? sometimes I reflect on some fucked up shit I did and be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'd be like, damn. And Do your mindset have to be in the right space before you take the shit? I, I believe so, but they, they kind of put my mindset in the right place. Like, every time I don't microdose, they put them in the right place. And sometimes, yeah. like I said, if I do some fucked up shit, I'd be tricked. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do, you, do, you, do you listen to, like, you make so much music and you be in your space and you be moving, but do you listen to, like, other rap and shit? I listen to everything that come out. Really? Everything. All genres, everything. I just want to hear. I just want to hear what's going on. You know what I'm saying? That's like LeBron not watching Kevin Durant play to know who he coming up against. Facts. Mm. Facts. Mm. Artists be like, I only listen to myself. I be like, I right, know, you know, it is. I listen to everybody. Who a couple people recently though that that basically he was like, man, they hard. Like, it, it's a lot of folks who hard right now. Like Rilo hard, Lil Baby yeah. hard, Moneybag hard. Um, who's new? D baby out there in Texas hard. Mm. The um the Mexican nigga going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Huncho he hard. You know Cho hard. Huncho. Um, it's a lot of folks who hard out here. You know I shit I keep my head to the street. Would you do another collab like how you did with Pee Wee with somebody? Yeah, for sure. I do it with a lot of people. Yeah, I, I enjoy making music. Mm. I'm a hustler. Yes, I know how to finesse the game, but I enjoy making music. Yeah, I, I'm an artist, so I enjoy this shit. Mm. What's real? Croptober is out is out there, man. Anything you want to say to the fans about Croptober? Oh man, y'all tune in, man. Y'all already know, man. We slick talking on there. If you <laughs> in tune, you in tune. Mm. Yeah. So Croptober gonna have niggas getting some money fourth quarter. For sure. You know, all my growers play my music to their plants. Mm. It was some shit where Shut up. <laughs> on God. Cause it in the morning, if you play music <laughs> to your plants, it opens the seed up more or yeah. something like that. It's just that. like talking to a baby. Yeah. Yeah. And they play my music for their plants. So all my West Coast growers out there, they playing the music. They send me videos all the time. They in the they showing and they got them speakers up there. They um implanted the speakers inside their grow house in the walls and they got it. Grow, play my shit playing for they plants to grow. You know what, what strain you smoking on right now? That's hard. Man, I got my own called Purple Heart right now. And um, it's really in the test phase. We just trying to make it super flavorful. Because, you know, I smoke for the flavor, not the high no more. I like the shrooms. But I smoke for the flavor. So I want my shit to be real flavor. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't been smoking as much. I just smoke sometimes. But the shrooms got me good. Mm. <laughs> You're an advocate for them shrooms. Mm. Me too, though. I mean, you know, it's some people who it's a lot of anxiety and depression and not for everybody. So I, I don't want to goddamn drug folks out. If you sober, you know, stay doing your thing. But if you got anxiety and depression and you can handle them, I think it'll make boost. your life a lot easier. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just don't overdo. You know, everything in moderation, you don't overdo nothing. Just, you know, microdose. You know what I'm saying? Right. Microdose them motherfuckers. What's the final words for the fans in the streets, man? For money, man. Oh, man, listen, in positive streets. energy, man. Y'all make sure y'all get some money out here. Do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused on your goals and, you know. Keep that fake shit off your body. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you got a name for your fans? Like how Beyonce got Beehive? Is, is, is their name? Or? Oh, I mean, you know, they probably got their own name. You know what I'm saying? But I tap in with my fans, you know, online. Black like Circle see Boys. It. Yeah, I, I mean, that's it. that's the label. But, you know, but I got I really got diehard fans who love me. So they tune in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They don't I need got, no name. Nah, they don't need one. They, Fuck that. Yeah, they keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, big shout out to Money Man. Pull up the big yeah. cash. You're always welcome, my brother. You always yeah. drop some gems on us. Man. Check out that new crop tober. And of course, check us out at www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. Salute.